you damn Yankee! I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colm O'Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <sighs> this is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Die! 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 Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Because you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> All your men, all your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country, you, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? <laughs> they are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already the dogs are on the way. Oh yeah. Oh you're right. You are so <laughs> right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be this oh, Our friends of Mikadens are gonna come and rescue you, you uh, repulsive little maggot! Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Call them now! You call them! Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's 
That's quite a cough. <laughs> sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. <coughs> but I'm gonna be just fine. <coughs> we offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. <coughs> you should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell? Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Horrible man. <laughs> now come on. Both of you. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. And it's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! No voice! Hello, son. Mrs. Adler. It's been quite a while. Now, John. Now, what were you saying? You shot me. <laughs> you shot me pretty good. Mm-hmm.